Last year, a couple of friends and I won at Toronto's largest summer hackathon, Hack the Six. And surprisingly, I was invited to judge this year at the same hackathon as a representative of Geodeb. And I absolutely love this experience, especially since this was my first virtual hackathon and I, you know, had a completely new take to hackathons in general. So I wanted to cover the, the three days in the best way I can. And I hope you enjoy this video. Hi everyone, I am at uh, Hack the Six right now representing Jodeb and the opening ceremony is actually starting in a bit. I'm just gonna turn on, like turn over my screen rather. You know, they have this entire cool thing going on. I really hope they're not seeing me right now, but uh, it's pretty cool how they're how they're doing everything. And yeah, here we go. So we make this. Okay, I don't think I can make this full screen, but it's pretty interesting, you know. Like like they're, they're trying their best to kind of mimic the actual like the actual hackathon experience, and I think they're doing like a really really good job at it. Uh, this is my first time being a judge, so like it's 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 a bit different for me, but you know I'm glad to be here and. Uh, I'll keep you posted on how things go. <laughs> you see the geodab table right now, it looks pretty like clogged up and uh, you know people seem to be occupying and yeah so there's only like a limited space that someone could take in like one booth and you know people are either asking like questions with regards to like recruiting or you know with regards to like the hackathon challenge that we presented as you know as one company let's join in and see what's going on yeah uh, did you have any other questions um not right now oh cool all right this is just my team joining so Nestor is in recruitment and Bennett and john are in software development hello okay hi Hackathons in general, like you either have a Slack channel or like a Discord channel. Like in this case, we use Discord. So like you know, people ask like questions about like you know the, the either the hackathon challenge that we have or you know even just about like geotype like if you if you see things over here like you know there's either like Kenneth responding or there's either me responding and you know people just go on and go on and ask us about like random stuff and we have to actually kind of stay up and you know but not have to but like it's obviously nice for us to kind of stay up and like help these kids you know to actually understand you know what the heck is about and what our company is about like it's it's part of our responsibility as you know judges and mentors that they're doing in the IoT space. Yeah, I think I can take it from this point. Um, so obviously like a lot of people over here would be looking for opportunities at Geotab and I think it will it will be really cool to kind of like discover our tech stack. I think I think Geotab has always kind of like tried their best to integrate the newest technologies and they've always been very progressive in, in terms of like incorporating the newest technology possible so I think it really makes you know Geotab a very fun and a very immersive kind of environment to work in so uh, obviously like just going over the languages I think primarily the development teams focus mostly on C Sharp as a backend tool and uh, TypeScript as a frontend tool and also they use like JavaScript within like you know within certain teams and I think Geotab has very well been established as a big data company. We uh, we have 4 billion data points every single day across the 2 million connected vehicles that John was referring to like in his previous slides. Stand out and you know helps with fleet management and just smart solutions in general. So yeah that's that's it from my end and I think I'll transfer the floor to Kenneth. Cool. Thanks for that.
Lakers won. Lakers won yesterday. A lot to be proud about. There's obviously this event that happens before the judging actually takes place. And, you know, they actually, this is actually very reliability where they actually go through all the facets of judging and different types of judges and what every judge should do. Uh, I think it's very comprehensive and they've done like, a really good job with it. Once again. <laughs> and, you know, uh, it, it's cool to be on this side of the table, like, um, and really understand how things work. I guess this will help me as a hacker someday too. Uh, I have done like judging before from the hacks, but uh, in a very like low level. So. I realized that I do better when I actually write things down. It goes in my head better. So like, this is how I'm gonna kind of like write notes about the different hacks that I'm going to see. Yeah, hopefully, you know, I obviously we want to make the best decision and give it to the best person and I think it's a responsibility that you know you need to take relatively seriously. You shouldn't take life seriously in general but you know hacking a bit more serious. This is a platform called Gavel and I'll be you know going through hacks right now and you know comparing one hack to the other and just like you know, examining different I'm just, I'm just looking at different hacks and just like seeing if they make sense and just like making notes on those and just understanding whether the ideas actually like would translate into real world problems and like how like the wow factor of the project like how how interesting uh, the project is and also you know I'm also gonna look at uh, things like you know the text I can work on uh, how to hack Facebook accounts from team 6 2020 dev post what <laughs> i realize that a lot of people have gone very uh, like they've understood like the situation of the world right now uh and they're kind of going with things like you know oh like remote learning video conferencing uh th and and things of that nature i think that's great in terms of you know how do you say this like uh, addressing problems that exist right now but at the same time like the competition increases exponentially if, if you're not going to think of something like very revolutionary or very like out of the box you know um, because you know a lot of people are going to be doing something on like you know oh like you know meetings or you know education or make it remote learning easier things like that but like I think people really need to stress on why their heck is like different and you know, what makes their hack really special because there are so many duplicate hacks that I've seen so many COVID projects that I see um, so yeah I guess that's just a tip I would, I would give people uh, I think it's fine to take up like a project like that but you know I think it's very important to learn how to differentiate yourself yeah yeah I would say this is a good example of a, of a hack where like People are just going over, you know, okay, these are the problems, um, you know, like they're actually establishing the problem statement that, you know, like the problems that have, that are currently existing in banking and then, you know, they, they keep going on with that and then they demo their product. One of the biggest benefits of um, real world hackathons is the free food. It's a free event. And there's free food it's a free event and there's free food like i used to go to um, hackathons just to, i used to go to hackathons just to like you know avoid the meals like you know making any meals on like weekends because i'm really lazy sometimes but yeah like you know i i definitely I definitely, I definitely miss that part about hackathons and you can just like binge on free food and just like everything's there. But one thing to know about all hackathons is that a staple diet is coffee and if you're ever buying Starbucks, it's always caramel macchiato. There's literally no other option to buy. So I'm just letting you know. 
this is the final hacker pr presentation and uh, you know people are people are going over their hacks right now and th these are like there are six finalists and each in each hackathon obviously changes it's very interesting you know they, this is like <laughs> I, I know i've said this like a bit it does but it's it's, it's virtual and uh, it's it's difficult to really you know demo these hacks when like you're not in person so I, and i think these participants are doing like a very decent job but actually you know getting getting their hack and their like vision across so like kudos to them uh i'm looking forward to see like all the finalists but you know we're starting with this and uh, we'll see where it goes there are actually two finalists that like i voted in voted for too so i think i've done a decent job and i think everyone else also had consensus every like four of the other finalists i didn't uh, see in my judging board so yeah like you know i'm uh, excited to see the rest of the hacks we have team eubank without further ado let's buckle them on stage i actually voted for eubank like i think i i covered the like hack in one of you know at one part of the video uh they did pretty they did pretty good like you you can see it you can see it from afar you know that uh, they really knew what they were talking about and they really knew how to actually demo a hack and actually what was needed to you know when a hack see like it it just came up like they're doing pretty good and uh, you know i only got i when you have like the general judging board you only get uh, you know like a like exposure to like a subset of hacks but you know since I voted for them I'm a, I'm kind of biased and I hope they do really well <laughs>